Fanera Devotions for Wednesday, October 10, 2023, by Apostle Grace LaBega, titled, Preserved by God. Malachi 3 verse 10 to 11, KJV, Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meat in mine house, and prove me now herewith, saith the Lord of hosts, if I will not open you the windows of heaven, and pour you out a blessing, that there shall not be room enough to receive it. And I will rebuke the devourer for your sakes, and he shall not destroy the fruits of your ground, neither shall your vine cast her fruit before the time in the field, saith the Lord of hosts. Every Christian who is serious about their salvation should be a tither. It does not matter whether you are a member of the church or the senior pastor of that church. It is common for ministers to demand tithes from their congregation and yet they are not tithers. The principle applies to all because even the leader must tithe to his spiritual authority. One of the fundamental blessings that come with tithing is preservation. God has promised that when you are faithful with your tithes, he will rebuke the devourer on your behalf. When you examine the life of Christians who flout this principle, they are struggling in one way or the other. What you must know is that the devil usually collects more than God's tenth. It may come in the form of some disease that requires you to spend heavily on medication. That is the devourer on the loose because you flouted a principle. It may be a crisis with your children that requires you to sell a property to redeem the situation. That is the devourer collecting more than what you denied God through disobedience. Our Lord is a God of principles. He means every word that he says. Do not ignore his principles knowingly and expect him to preserve you in your rebellion. Praise him. Further study, 2 Corinthians 9 verse 6 to 8, Leviticus 27 verse 30. Golden Nugget, one of the fundamental blessings that come with tithing is preservation. God has promised that when you are faithful with your tithes, he will rebuke the devourer on your behalf. Prayer, my loving Father, I thank you for this truth. Thank you for showing me the paths of life. The Bible says that there is a path that the fowl knows not and which the vulture's eye has not seen. This is where you continually lead me. I know that I am safe and secure from the destruction of the enemy because I live my life by your principles, in Jesus' name, Amen.